we met, yes. we met yesterday. Yes, yes. yes. So, you speak so you can you can take your stuff doing with the majority. You must make sure you get your journey back. You can also get your journey back. So how can you play a role? Right? So I hope you didn't have lunch. I love you too, darling. I'm not a chief minister or anything like that, but I'm a radio announcer and I, I wake up people every morning. And whenever I come through that gate, people sort of feel a sort of joy. I don't know what it is, even the little children. Of course, I get along well with the little children and old people, so it's like a joy. Now, I'll be dancing masquerades a little later on, which you'd see, but um, I believe that my job on Montserrat is to, to put a smile on people's face, and I think that. It, that is my, my real main reason for being here today. And what's your secret to uh, putting a smile on people's face? It's easy, man. It's easy. All of us feel down and out every day, every time. Do you understand what I'm saying? My job, and as you just said, what is the secret? It's not really a secret. It's easy. If you love people, and I do, I love little children especially, and all the people. Yo, I know how to be funny. I know how to be grand. I know how to have fun. So what I do, I get on out there. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm? Look at this. Hmm? I'm interviewing and still a little boy comes and says hello. Right? And this is what I like to do. And I won't trade Montserrat or this for anything else. Anything else in the world. Actually, this bent about tradition about old slavery back in the slave of freedom. And the slave in um, the mass, I didn't get free. And go out there, put on my costume. But at least I still have my face and my mask on. But I didn't, you know, come for that. So you hide your face from the, um, the big guys, them who control slavery. So you know who be. They won't know who you are. No, they won't know who you are. That's why you put on the mask and the whips to control you. Every mask you have a whip. Leader, control, dancing. What happened is that the slaves in the early days, they would mimic what they saw the Irish masters doing at government house on the celebratory day. They wear a mask so that they would hide their faces so that the slave masters would not recognize which particular slave was trying to mimic them, was trying to copy them. And so you have a combination of African movements to European dress. Even in slavery, they had to find ways of protest, they had to find ways of talking with each other, the whole thing of freedom. And so the various colors of the rhythm and the ribbons and the way they fly in the air, with a sense of freedom, much like the kite, is demonstrative of what they like to be. Never mind they were enslaved. At the same time, when they danced, they had the sense of freedom that they hoped would be theirs one day. The mirrors are also reflections, reflections of the, the, each other as well as the people around them.
I am from the northwest of Ireland, County Sligo. I'm over here on a trip for a year and I just had to come to Montserrat because it's known as the second Emerald Isle. Have you found it to be the second Emerald Isle? Certainly so. I think the people are more Irish than ourselves and they're great fun. How does St. Patrick's Day here compare to St. Patrick's Day in Ireland? Uh, I think if you look around you, this is the real thing. St. Patrick's Day at home is all false and plastic and everything, paper, shamrocks, all that. This is the real. It's all back to front. <laughs> uh, as briefly as I know it, is he was a Welshman and he was chased out of Wales, came over to Ireland, and I don't know where he got into the St. Carry on, but he was a shepherd and he started doing good deeds and I suppose took on the word of the Lord and worked from there. After that, I'm afraid I can't tell you much more. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.